She says she's hopping on now, so we should get her shortly. All right. Join the meeting. Who's that in Raphael's arms? This is, um, That's what I. Since we are recording, I'll just say it's a child in my care. Okay. All right. And thank you for what you do in that area. Thank um, you very much. All right. Emily in here yet? Just admitting her now. So. All right. Hmm. All right. So I am um, I'm going to call this meeting to order. I'd like to call this meeting to order at noon central time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. First of all, thank you everyone for joining us today. It's a beautiful Saturday in Dallas, Texas. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. Here it tends to be a little too hot. All right, Yvette Davila Richards, please call the roll. Good morning and good afternoon to all. Um, welcome to your first meeting with um, our new president, uh, Rebecca Aguilar. I'm calling one call. Um, Daniela Ibarra. Uh, present. Rafael Olmeida. Present. Emily Block. Present. Yvette Davila is here. Uh, Claire Regan. Present. And our president, Rebecca Aguilar. Here, thank you. All right, now the approval of the minutes, please. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Nobody knows okay. who's gonna move because Lauren's not here. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the September. A meeting. second? I second. second. I'm sorry, who seconded it, Yvette? Uh, or yep. Emily, all right. I okay. <laughs> All right, so the motion by Rafael Olmeda and the second by Emily Block. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, the motion carries unanimously. Those minutes are approved. All right, now we're going to go into public comments. If anyone wants to raise a hand or speak, please do. We're going to try to keep it to two minutes. In the TV world, as I'm training, two minutes is a lot of time. So please use it productively. Anybody have, uh, and I see a smile from Tom McKee. He knows what I'm talking about. Two minutes is a long time, right, Tom? We can do it in a minute 15. All right, um, anybody, raise a hand. If I'm not seeing one, you know, I'm trying to look at everybody. God, you guys all look so happy. All right, anybody? Uh, I think there's a second page. Oh, yes, oh, yes, Michael Drudge, go for it. Uh, yes, I know that uh, on your agenda, you will be looking at filling the at-large director seat. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume you're going to vote on that today, mm -hmm. or perhaps maybe you'll t table it. But I just want to recommend, I, I've sent emails to all the board members. I, endo I endorse Tom McKee. Um, he finished third place in the voting of the delegates in the convention. He got a nearly one third of the votes. And I think he'd be a fine addition to your board. And that's all. Thanks. All right. Michael, I appreciate the feedback on Tom. Tom, uh, by the way, full transparency, he got quite a few emails. And even Dwayne Pullman uh, put in a good word for you. I have a little surprise about Dwayne coming. Just want to let you know that, Tom. And I. Uh, I have a lot of respect for you and, and, and uh, Dwayne Pullman. You guys will find out who he is in a little bit. Anybody else? And thank you. Thank you, Michael, for that information. I really appreciate it because I know all the candidates that we're looking at are, I look forward to working with anyone because they're well qualified and good people and willing to volunteer. All right, uh, Erwin, go for it. Hi. Uh, hang on a second. Let me just, am I? Oh, I'm unmuted, okay. Yeah, I, I, Rebecca, I know that um, uh, you've indicated that I'll be uh, speaking with the board during its executive session as well. But while we're here, I just wanted to take a moment uh, to let folks know because there's been some conversation about this. You will be taking up later today a motion to ratify the nominees that we approved for the foundation board. Um, I know you mentioned in your agenda that the uh, you quoted from the bylaws that the Society of Professional Journalists Board gets to elect members of the foundation board for a three-year term. Um, the thing that was not on the agenda and that probably should have been is the paragraph that also indicates the nominations for those positions come exclusively from the non-SPJ board members um, of the foundation. Um, so we look forward to, to having you approve that slate 
so that we can uh, move along. And we're looking very much forward to uh, hearing your nominations from the SPJ board to join our board as we go forward. And everyone, I will say this, that you're teaching me a lot about the bylaws. And you're right, we have a, a great team of foundation board members ready to continue serving. Uh, we're, we're going into executive session to be able just to discuss anybody that has any questions. But, you know, I am on that foundation. I know all those individuals. They're committed to their volunteerism. And again, it's about being a team, the SPJ Foundation and the SPJ Board. We're exactly. A team exactly. And, so and, 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 and I'm happy to answer any questions the board's got as we go forward. And I appreciate that. And, and again, uh, you know, uh, as journalists, I, I only ask you, you know, get beyond the misinformation, conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. Come to us. We're journalists. Find out the one side of the story and the other side. Because I truly believe in the foundation's purpose. Because they do a lot of good things for other organizations and uh, other plans out there. And, and I, I'm sharing this because we have so many new visitors today. It is a foundation that we should all be proud of. Thank you very much, Erwin. I appreciate that. Any other hands? Oh, yes. Sonny, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Uh, uh, thanks for letting me speak. I'm just curious as to why the board, uh, based on the agenda, it looks like uh, the intention is to discuss both the um, uh, foundation nominations and the uh, possible nominations for the uh, vacant at-large directors mm -hmm. uh, in executive session. And I'm just wondering yeah. why no, that is. Good question, Sonny, good question. Well, last year uh, from former president Matt Hall had taken us into executive session to discuss his appointees. In fact, he invited some other people that were not on the board to join us. And so, you know, uh, this year, our executive director, uh, John Scherzer recommended the same thing if we wanted to go in, in executive session to talk about anything that could be sensitive uh, to any of our candidates. Now, again, you know, we're going in there, but we're also coming out to do the vote. So that is that question. And, and the same thing goes with the foundation. And there's nothing that is going to be in hiding or anything like that. It's just that, you know, we do have new board members. They may ask a question that's sensitive, that could be taken care of in there. Uh, maybe something that we don't want to maybe reflect badly on anyone. And that's the only purpose uh, because it should be going forward. It's a very positive move. Also, they're going to executive session where we, you know, for those who don't understand executive session and, you know, you you have a history in this area where you know, all of you people know what it's like to be in executive session. Some people don't, and that's the only reason why. But we did do the same thing last year. If you look at our uh, Matt Hall, when he first proposed the appointees of Jerry McCormick and, and Bailing Shaw, we did go into executive session to discuss them. We also invited some people that were not on board there, and that's it. Yeah, it's all in the record. And so I hope that that's a, an answer for you, Sonny. Thank you, appreciate it. You're welcome. And thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Anybody else? All right. And, and I, oh, oh, Hazel Becker. Rebecca, Hazel, we're not seeing you on camera. By, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I had to I'm join sorry. by phone and I, I have no idea. I don't think there's any way that I can get video going on that. So sorry about that. Oh, um, no. I, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Who's, who's this? I need to know for the record. All right. Just, just a moment. I, I had called on Hazel Becker, but I'll go with Robert. Robert. Um, no, go ahead, go ahead, Hazel. I just wanted to <laughs> lift my hand since I don't have any other way of lifting my hand than speaking up. If Hazel wants to speak, go ahead and let her speak first, and then I'll go after her. No, it's all right, Robert. I'll go to you. I'm sure Hazel will will uh, respectfully wait for you. Robert Ledger, go ahead. Uh, Robert Ledger is a former president, Yvette Davila Richards, um, and in fact, uh, he is the first Latino president, by the way, for the record. Robert, go ahead. No, actually, Fred Brown is, but. Okay. I was asked for Fred, so. Okay. Um, but um, uh, I sent all of you a note late last night after I looked at your agenda. I really encourage you not to go into closed session. Um, what, however, however noble the motives for going into closed session to, to guard people from any sensitive questions. In this organization that, that always is pushing government to be open I think we have an extra duty to be transparent. Um, all of all of you who have been elected to that board went through a very public process in the election uh, with with public comments and 
and all that. I think anyone who wants to join the SCJ board and the at large director ought to be open to having their candidacy um, in public. Um, secondly, the the foundation um, uh, uh, selections have always been public. They've never taken more than about a minute um, as a pro forma sort of thing. There's no reason to go into, into closed session for that. I just think when you go into closed session is when you create suspicion. The best way to avoid that is to do things out in the open. Thank you, That's Robert. For your, thank you. I appreciate your feedback. And as I said in my response to your email, let us not start the narrative of having any suspicions, conspiracies, rumors, uh, whatever else. We're only being positive and productive as leaders. We're going into this executive session, which I respect the executive director's suggestion, just in case, you know, something, again, some of us are, are new to this, not I, uh, and that's the only reason. There is, and let me just explain it, there is nothing negative, as I say, I serve with this foundation, with these people. I know many of them, not all of them, but I know that they're committed to this organization. Same thing with the appointees. The appointees are willing to serve, but I am also following the lead of past president, uh -huh. Matt Hall, who went into executive session <laughs> and we discussed it. So there is nothing to create any kind of negative uh, outcome or we're not in there to you know, brainstorm on anything. We're all new to this, we're an open book, but I think that we do have the prerogative and the, the choice to go into executive session and, and, and that's how I, I feel it, it will be fine. But I guarantee you, there is no agenda there. Thank you, Robert, for sharing your, your feedback. Anybody else? Hazel. Hey, Hazel, oh, there you go. Hazel, hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you today, Rebecca? I am good, it's nice in Texas, believe me. And I have my beautiful flowery Mexican dress. On. <laughs> you do, very pretty. Thank you. Um, I just wanna say that we are journalists and as journalists, we have spent a lot of time making governance happen in the sunshine. And this just feels wrong to me to have a group of journalists having its discussion in closed doors and then we're gonna come out and vote. That's, we fought against this time and time and time again over the, I don't know, 40, however many years I've been a journalist, 50. Oh God, that's terrible. Well, anyway, we've been fighting this forever. And I think to have it happening in our society, it just feels wrong. And that's all I want to say. Thank you, Hazel, for your feedback. And again, if you look back at other board meetings before they were even on Zoom, there were other presidents who went into executive session. And in, 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 in some cases, and in several cases, there were people that were not on the board there. And I don't recall if anybody had this, this, this feeling that we're going to do something negative. What I say is this, trust in us. Don't start with the narrative that we're going to do something evil, we're not. We are here for, for more than anything, to support journalists, to support our members and educators and student journalists. And you're right, Hazel. I fortunately am, am um, celebrating 40 years as a journalist and I do not like anything hidden, of course. But when it concerns anything that could be sensitive, anything, I have to be protective of our members. I am protective. Uh, it's not about keeping any information because when we come out of these meetings, you know, and again, everything's probably going to go very fast, but give us an opportunity to lead instead of, you know, uh, I, I get these emails and, and I, I'm thinking, you know, give us a chance. Trust in us. Because believe me, I am about being productive and positive. And I am an open book and I know SPJ's book. So Hazel, thank you so much for your feedback. I appreciate it. I really do. Anybody else? I don't see any hands. Let me go to page two. My computer is not one of those big ones. Let me see. All right. And I'd love to see people on camera. Catherine Jones, there you are looking beautiful as usual. Let me see anybody else. Oh yes, Jennifer. Jennifer Ellis. Uh, I will just echo what everyone else has mentioned that um, I also agree that it shouldn't be an executive session. I felt the same way last year when it happened. 
Um, I don't believe anything nefarious is going to be happening in closed session, but I do think it should be open and transparent. I believe that the board does a lot of emailing. So if there were questions pri prior, um, they could have been asked in that situation. That's all. Thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate your feedback too. Yes. You know, honestly, I only got one email. Uh, well, two of them. Um, that's it. I didn't get bombarded with emails like, what are you doing, this and that. And, and as I told some of the people who, who had written me emails, I, I just said, you know, be a journalist, get both sides of the story here. This, again, no rumors, no assumptions, mm -hmm. you know, no anything that we don't use in our profession, right? But again, it's also when I go into executive session, I know Glass, Jennifer has confirmed we went into executive session last year and she didn't agree with it at that time either. But look, it was all positive when we came out. We had great appointees, Jerry and Bay Lang. I mean, I'm sorry to see them go. So, you know, trust in us. Trust in us, please. And that's all I ask. All right. Thank you, Jennifer Ellis, for your feedback. Anybody else? Alex Draquenio, good morning. Yeah, and I will keep it brief, but there is um, precedent here. In fact, in every single board meeting I've ever been in over the last um, almost 10 years now where we have discussed appointments to the board, those have always been in an executive session and then voted on and, and they explained publicly. And the reason is sometimes we have discussed names of candidates who didn't put themselves forward. In other words, names of people that board members thought would be excellent to ask who didn't even ask to be considered much less considered in public um we've uh, we've also had comments to make on the relative merits of candidates which frankly cannot be had those discussions simply can't be had in public because we have to protect spj as an organization these Steve meetings are Garner. not about protecting, join the meeting Go they're ahead, not Mark. about protecting a board member or a president they're about protecting the organization if you have this conversation in public you will leave SPJ open for possible legal action if someone doesn't like what they were said in a board meeting, in a public streaming meeting. These may be people who didn't even put themselves forward for consideration. So absolutely, I believe all meetings should be had in public with the exception of personnel considerations and legal contracts. And this falls into personnel considerations. You don't wanna leave SPJ open for legal liabilities, but absolutely come back after your executive session and explain your decisions, whatever you vote on and why you made the decision. Thank, Thank you, you, Alex. I appreciate your feedback also, uh, it's, it's important. All right, guys, um, I have one more, let me see. I think, hold on, just wanna make sure. And anybody who's not speaking, could you please mute your uh, your microphones, please? Let me see, yes, anybody else? Am I missing anybody else? Anybody else? Please, if you see a hand up, anybody, please speak up now. All right. All right, well, I, I, you know, again, I like this. I like that you're, you're saying what you want to say. It is important, okay? And um, let me see. So, got the minutes. Anybody else? Last chance. One, two, tres. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for your feedback. I really appreciate it. Okay, so next on the agenda is my president's report. And I'm gonna keep it very short. I think like a TV person, we have to keep it short. Tom McKee knows what I'm talking about. Tom, you may wanna give me the, you know, 30 second, get it done. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I just wanna say thank you to our SPJ staff and John Scherzer for the outstanding work they did before and during and still doing on SPJ 21. Our virtual conference was a success and our attendees, well, they left empowered and inspired. And that is important and with great information. I also wanna say thank you to the SPJ National Planning Conference Committee that helped plan SPJ 21. Matt Hall, Amara Aguilar, Daniela Ibarra, Adam Sennett, Claire Regan, Sergi Odiduro, Rafael Olmeda, and from the SPJ staff, the woman that kept the glue together, Karen Sneed. She was awesome. A big thank you to Bob Butler and his team who ran SPJ News 2021. You know, we often, Think of them as student projects. 13 students and three mentors worked hard to publish stories on SPJ 21. They posted 48 stories, video podcasts, and some students, listen to this, they even had to be evacuated from New Orleans because of Hurricane Ida. And did that stop them? No, they kept working. They kept being part of student projects. Thank you, amazing work. I also wanna thank the SPJ Diversity and Inclusion Committee 
the head of a very successful diversity leadership program at SPJ21, the six fellows did live reporting and tweeting during the conference. Check out their work at hashtag SPJ21Diversity. Now, let me talk about our board meetings. We will make sure they're informative, packed with all the information you need as members, and also to the point, we don't want six hour meetings. The board and I believe in leading by empowering and inspiring. And our board will constantly look at everything through the eyes of the journalists, the educators, and the student journalists. What do they need to survive and thrive? What do our members need? We will be focusing on helping all chapters grow and expand, and also make sure that our communities continue with their great momentum. We're calling this hashtag SPJ chapter strong and hashtag SPJ strong. So please put that on your profiles on Twitter because we want all the other organizations to know we are SPJ strong. So let's be positive and productive. Our board and staff wanna make sure when members see their meetings today, next week, 10 years from now, this video, they're gonna feel energized. They're gonna say, I'm so glad I'm part of that organization. And those who haven't joined us, where they're going to say, heck, I'm joining. I'm joining today. OK, I know many of you love to chat, and I think I see some chats, at least 17 of them. You know what? I'll do my best to look at the chat, but I like to focus on what you are saying here, especially the board members, because remember, we're volunteers. We're all working. I'm sure many of you want to be with your families, or maybe it's like my husband. When are we going to have lunch? Five o'clock, maybe. So while I will try to get in the chat, you know, um, Feel free to send me an email because you know I answer right away. But I will try. I'm not saying I'm not giving up on that, okay? I also ask John that when we post the minutes and the Zoom link in the future on the website, also add a PDF to all the chats because that is part of the conversation here. I want people to see what you're chatting about. The good, bad, and not so good maybe, but it's there because we are SPJ and you're right. Many of you said we have to be transparent. You're right. We are super transparent and share everything we discuss here. Now let's talk about our committees. You guys, I'm excited because we have great committee chairs. I think several of them are here. Returning new faces. I mean, we, you know, we have new faces and returning committee chairs. So first, Brian Collister will be chairing the Awards and Honors Committee. Brian is the CEO and Chief Investigative Reporter at Investigative Network News and Documentaries. He's worked in Investigative Reporter as a re investigative reporter for TV stations in Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. He has dozens of Emmys and DuPonts and other awards. He also helps start the Lone Star Emmys in Texas. Adam Sennett will be chairing the membership committee. He's a reporter for the Boston Globe and the current president of SPJ New England. Well, that chapter has brought in several members. Eleanor Vega will chair the diversity and inclusion committee. She's been a member of the committee for two years help revamp the diversity and leadership program. As I told you, it's a huge success. Eleanor is a freelance journalist and former West Coast bureau chief for CBS News. Alex Trequenio, a former SPJ president, will chair the bylaws committee. She has a deep understanding of the bylaws and knows the institutional history of SPJ. She's also a freelance journalist. Dwayne Pullman, and Tom McKee knows him, will chair the ethics committee. He's the investigative reporter and anchor at WKRC-TV in Cincinnati. Dwayne also sits on the SPJ Cincinnati board. He has worked as an investigative reporter with TV stations around the country. And this man has a gazillion awards too. He also sat on the IRE board. Ashanti Blaze will chair the nominations committee. She's the current vice president of SPJ Los Angeles. She's the journalism professor and former television anchor and reporter. Now listen to this. Ashanti helped the SPJ LA chapter head or spearhead the collaboration of the California journalism organizations to work together on SB 98. I'm sure you know of it. If it becomes law, journalists will have protection from attacks and threats from law enforcement officers in California when they're doing their jobs, especially at protests. Now we hope Governor Newsom will sign it into law. And we have four chairs returning for another year. Yvette Davila Richards will chair the Finance Committee. She's the current regional assignment editor for Fox News. Haston Willis will continue as chair of the Freedom of Information Committee. He's a freelance journalist working out of Washington, DC. Yvette Walker will continue as the Journalism Education Committee chair. 
She's the Assistant Dean of Student Affairs at Gaylord College. Mike Savino returns as Chair of the Resolutions Committee. He's a reporter at WFSB Channel 3. He's also Vice President of the SPJ Connecticut Chapter. Now, each committee chair will put together their own team. So if you're interested in serving one of these committees, please put it in the chat, contact me, or you can contact one of these committee chairs. We will be posting their emails on our website. I have two other announcements to make. The delegates, the delegates wanted a deep dive into the delegate system and more. We listened. I have appointed Adam Senate to head the Delegate Analysis Task Force. We trust that Adam will put together a good team to give us answers and recommendations. Israel Balderas will be chairing our Legal Defense Fund. He's an attorney a former television news anchor and reporter, and a new journalism professor at Elon University. And by the way, Paul, F Paul Fletcher stepped down as chair because he got a new job. Congrats, Paul. And a big thank you to the committee chairs and committee members who served, some for many years. Thank you. Thank you for volunteering your time and to your commitment to SPJ. For those committee chairs here, please put your email addresses in the chat where you can be contacted by members who may want to serve on your committee. And thank you again for volunteering to do this job. Now, okay, now we're, we're gonna go into executive session to discuss who will be our appointed at-large directors. We have three positions to fill, several great candidates to look at. We did the same thing last year again with former President Matt Hall who wanted to discuss his appointees, so it's nothing new. We will also be voting on the election of the foundation board members. We will be inviting the foundation president, Erwin Gratz, and executive director, John Scherzer, to the executive session. Again, there's been some misinformation out there. There's no big plan. We just wanna talk in executive session and we will come back out and share everything with you. We wanna say thank you to the at-large officers, Bay Lang, Shaw, and Jerry McCormick for serving on our board for a year. Matt Hall chose excellent appointees. You are true leaders. And now, my good friends, thank you. And I will miss you on the board. We will be going into executive session. Now, if some of you are leaving us for now, go ahead, enjoy your Saturday. Look at the Zoom later. If you want to know the outcome, headquarters will be sending an alert when we come out of executive session to vote on the appointees and the other issues. Please rejoin us. Now, can I get a motion from the board to go into executive session? I motion. Uh, I'm sorry, who's making the motion? Daniela. I'll make it. Yvette. <laughs> Yvette, and who seconds it? Daniela. Daniela. All right, the motion by, made by Yvette Davila Richards to go into executive session, Daniela Ibarra uh, to second the motion. Yeah, Rafael? Yes, um, <clears throat> I think we should formally uh, invite John Scherzer and, and uh, I was uh, just going to, to you're right. I was just going to say it um, this way. I make a motion for the board to go into executive session to discuss the at-large appointees, the foundation members, and ACEJMZ SPJ representatives. And we also invite executive director John Searcher, foundation president Erwin Gratz. Thank you. Thank you. And, and Daniela has seconded. Thank you very much. Yeah, Emily, you had a question? Hi, yes, thank you. I just want to know, since John will be joining us, is there a way we can put a let people know when we're out of executive session so that yes. they can rejoin us easily? Yes, thank Emily, you. he will be sending out an alert. He will be, we do that. Um, he will send it. John, how do you take care of that? Can you? I'm going to email everyone with the email address they use to register for this meeting. Good question, Emily. We can't assume everybody knows. Great. All right. So we're going to go into executive session. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Oh, I just wanted to thank you, Rebecca, for your kind remarks. And also, I wanted to clarify whether the um, appointed at-large members needed to um, be part of that conversation, because the bylaw said serving until appointed, which is actually why I'm here today, but I wasn't included in the roll call. So now I don't know if I'm still um, on the board or not on the board. But whatever you want, I'm happy to be there or not be there. Just let me know. You're welcome to come. I mean, you're still officially a board member. You just won't have a, a, a vote on this because you're not a um, elected official, but I welcome you, you know. Uh, um, she will vote. Oh, she will vote? Yeah, and I'm sorry, the roll call was an oversight. I'm sorry about that, Bailing. That was my fault on the agenda. But you're a board member okay, so until we approve okay. the new appointed board members and then you are no longer. 
Okay, so I'm glad I didn't wake up early on a Saturday for nothing, but so then <laughs> could the record be corrected to add me to the attendance for the meeting? Yes. Um, and for what it's worth, I vote yes on the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you. And, and again, I really appreciate everybody's patience with us when it concerns these kind of things. And I appreciate that you keep us on track and, 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 and make those corrections. And Bei Ling, I apologize for that oversight. And uh, yeah, I mean, here, right? well, I love your voice. Um, anyway, so we're going to go into executive session. Again, enjoy your Saturday if you're leaving us. Committee chairs, please put in the chat your information. Thank you so much. Um, and so let's go into executive session. Rebecca, you should call a vote on executive session. Oh, oh, okay. So I call a vote on uh, on going uh, into executive session. All eyes. Everybody who says aye. 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 Any any oppositions or abstentions on this one? No, with that, I I entertain that we go into executive session. To you, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. All right, a second? Seconded. I second. All right, so the motion made by Bay Ling, second by Emily Block. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any op uh, oppositions or abstentions? All right, none. The vote is unanimous. Thank you, Sunny Alvarado, for representing us the next three years. All right, let's go to the at large appointees. Um, Emily. I believe Daniela was oh, going Daniela. to make a I'm motion. sorry. I, I apologize. No worries. Daniela. I move to appoint D Danielle McLean to fill the current at-large board vacancy and serve the remainder of the two-year term vacated by Claire Regan. Seconded. Second by Emily. All right. Motion made by Daniela. Second by Emily. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition or abstentions? I don't see any. The vote is unanimous. Welcome to the board, Danielle McLean. All right, thank you so much. And I do wanna say uh, thank you to Bei Ling. You were a wonderful appointee uh, turn at large. Uh, you brought so much knowledge to this position. Also, thank you to Tom McKee and um, Robert Sierra. First of all, you're wonderful leaders. And I hope that you will stay committed to SPJ. I need you, we need you. Please stay with us. Uh, because we need strong voices like yours. And Tom, that you learned to be an MMJ, uh, you know, when they said start carrying a camera, I applaud you. Thank you so much. All right, the next one, please. That'll be me. I move to appoint the president's appointments of Israel Balderas and Cheryl Smith to the at-large positions. All right, all in favor say aye. Oh, the second, please, I'm sorry. I second. All right. Motion made by Emily Block, second by, I'm sorry, who was the second? Daniela. Daniela Ibarra. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any oppo uh, opposition abstentions? None? All right. The vote is unanimous. Welcome to the board, Israel Balderas and Cheryl Smith. Thank you so much. All right. So um, that's it for today. Uh, we have to go into some training that John is going to give us. And I just want to say to all of you, let's be productive and positive today. I, I, happiness to the foundation, happiness to Sunny. Thank you for trying to, you know, serving again. Thank you for everybody, the committee chairs. We're going to be positive and product, productive this year. Let's focus on the journalists out there today. The ones that are in DC covering, I don't even know what it's like in DC today. For the educators today who have to go in those classrooms when we still have a pandemic, but they're still educating our future journalists and student journalists who are trying to decide, do we stay in this business or not? Please do, because we're gonna show you why. We are hashtag SPJ strong. We are hashtag SPJ chapter strong. Let's make it a great team. I look forward in coming back to you. And so with that, I will entertain a motion to end our board meeting for today. Might I ask who the, or the SPJ board appointees to the foundation are? They weren't on any list. Oh, I apologize for that. Um, so do we, uh, they didn't share it with you? Uh, oh, this, I think he's asking about the appointees that you make to the foundation board, which we discussed you were going to wait a bit more on. Oh, uh, Bob, I have not determined the entire list, but I will be making sure that, and Erwin said I have time. 
So I will be making the list public, but thank you for asking. I appreciate that. All right, anything else? All right, we do need to go into some training. I will entertain a motion to end our board meeting now. Anybody, motion? I make the motion to um, exit our meeting so we can go into our training. All right, second? Second. second. Rafael, motion to close the meeting, Yvette Davila Richard, second by Rafael Olmeda. And with that, I say, have a great day, everyone. See you at the next meeting. And if you want to ask any questions, feel free to email me. All right, John, let's take it over. Let's go into our training. Thank you, everyone. Have a great Saturday. Oh, by the way, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Just want to let you know. Bye.